This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Well, hello there and welcome back. In this exercise, what we're going to start looking at is animation. Animation kind of is a two-step process. If we're going to put stuff in motion, the first thing you want to do is get the motion in place, and then you're going to refine the motion. In this exercise, we're going to get the motion in place, and then we're going to save the file, and in the next exercise, we'll actually refine the motion. So let's get started. And to get yourself started, I need you to open up the animation.aep file that's located in your Lesson 2 exercise folder. And when the animation starts, you'll see that we have a very short animation of a light bulb lighting up and the words another bright idea sliding across the screen. And that we don't need. So what we're going to do is change the animation. And to do that, the first thing we got to do is get rid of those pesky keyframes. Now you can do it a couple of ways. So the first way is just to twirl it down, find the keyframes and then delete them. And that, you know, sometimes with After Effects, there can be a lot of stuff on the uh, timeline and finding keyframes can be a little bit difficult. I'm going to show you a very quick way of doing it. Select the Another Bright Idea layer, come to the animation, and select Reveal Animating Properties. And what this will do is reveal all the keyframes that have changed or the property keyframes that have changed. And there they are. Now, deleting the keyframes is also an interesting exercise because you can delete them individually, or here's a very quick way of doing it if you just want to get rid of the entire sequence. Just click on the stopwatch. Watch what happens to the keyframes when I click on the stopwatch. Boom, gone. And there's the word, another bright idea. So let's pull that out into the comp and let's uh, start working with the text. So the first thing I want to do is make the text a little bit bigger. It's a little bit overwhelmed by that light bulb up there. So I'm going to select the text tool, drag across the text, and I'm going to set the uh, text to approximately 36 pixels. There we go, 36. Click in front of the B, hit the return key, and that moves it down. Now, what I want to do is tighten this up a bit. So just uh, select the text again. And this time in the letting area, which is right here, just scrub a little bit to the left. And you'll notice that bright idea comes up. Now, these boards have equal weight. What I want to do is take another and make it just a little bit smaller. So we're going to take it down to 30 pixels. And one way of doing that is to scrub it, and the other way is just to simply add the number. Now that we've got this at 30 pixels, I'm not too happy with the alignment, so what I'm going to do is select the text, come over to the paragraph panel. I don't need the audio panel here, so I'm just going to close it. I'm going to come to the paragraph panel here, which is right here, and I'm just going to set this to right align. And you notice that the text move over. Now, what it didn't do was physically move the text. What it did was it just moved it to the right edge of the uh, text box. So the text box sort of looked like it moved. It didn't. Okay, so there we go. There's another bright idea. Now what we're going to do is put this in motion. And the plan here is really quite simple. What we're going to do is to have this thing come in from the bottom of the screen. I'm just going to open this up a little bit. I'm going to come in from the bottom of the screen, move up, and then gently fall into its landing position. So the first thing we want to do is just sort of set the keyframes. So we're going to start with setting a keyframe for the start position. So press your home key to get yourself to the zero point. Press the stopwatch, that adds a keyframe. Then we're going to go out to approximately 15 frames. And you can uh, drag to 15 frames. I'm going to show you another thing you can do here. If you press the shift page down key, notice that you can move in 10 frame increments. And if you don't hold the shift key, and just push page down, you can move in one frame increments. So you can move very quickly without having to click and drag. So I'm sitting at frame 15, and I think that's a pretty good place to start. So I'm going to add a keyframe by clicking the diamond. And then I'm going to set this as the uh, finish position, but I want it to come up a little bit higher than this and then sort of fall into place. So we're going to do this over 20 frames. So what we're going to do is Hold down the shift key, press the page down key twice to move 20 frames. And then all you have to do is just add another keyframe right here, just the, right there. And then we'll come back over to frame 15 and we're going to start moving the text. Now, one of the things that you can do here is move the text up and down. But the problem with moving text up and down is that the human body is a mass of jiggling flesh. And we tend to move, and I'll show you what I mean. If I move this up, you see I can move it that way. What I want to do is constrain it. 
And to do that, all I have to do is hold down the shift key, click, hold, drag, click, shift, up it goes. You can see it moves in a straight line. Now let's get over to the first frame and we got to pull this down. Click, shift, drag. And we'll just pull that to the end. Now let's see how that works. So what you can do is you can uh, scrub across the animation and see, yeah, okay, it slowly comes into place. Another way of doing it, of course, is just to press the uh, space bar, which kind of gives you a, a bit of a RAM preview. I'm going to show you a couple other little things you can do to uh, kind of see how your animation works. Let's go back to uh, frame 15, so where everything is sort of there. There we go. Now I'm going to show you how to zoom the screen. Now you can zoom the screen by using the um, pop-down menu here. So you can go to Fit, and you'll see it gets bigger. You can go to 100%. You can do it that way. Another way you can do it is to hold down your command or control key and then tap plus or minus. So if I hit command minus or command plus because I'm on a Mac, you can see that I get really big. And if I want to zoom out, command minus. Another way of uh, doing it is to actually click on the comp and press the tilde key. And you notice that it kills all the uh, stuff and you can actually see what it looks like in the movie. So there we go. And to bring everything back, just press the tilde key again. Now there's uh, one small problem with this. It seems to take a little bit too long to uh, get up to the top there. It's uh, interesting over 15 frames, but it just takes a little bit too long. So what we're gonna do is gonna reduce this down to 10 frames. So what you do is just slide over to the uh, 10 frame mark, click on your keyframe and just bring it over. Now let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's better. And there you go. There's uh, getting the animation in place. In the next movie, what we're going to take a look at is refining the animation. Now you have a choice here. You can either save this, Command S or Control S or File Save, and save it to your exercise folder and pick up the next lesson or the next exercise. Or you can actually uh, just forget about this and uh, there'll be a copy waiting for you in the next exercise. I'll see you there.